Recently, new footage aired on Chinese state television showed PLA ground units integrating a tracked combat robot directly into infantry training, marking a clear move from staged demonstrations to practical field use. The robot, known as the ZRY-222, was seen advancing alongside soldiers during a coordinated assault, not operating in isolation. This is significant because it shows how the PLA is pushing unmanned systems down to the small unit level, where exposure is highest and decisions are made in seconds. Rather than replacing infantry, the ZRY-222 appears designed to support them at the point of contact. It moved in parallel with troops, providing close, localized firepower while operators controlled it from a protected position nearby. The goal is clear. Keep soldiers under cover while projecting force forward, reducing risk during the most dangerous moments of an advance. The ZRY-222 is a compact, tracked, unmanned ground vehicle built for rubble, broken terrain, and tight spaces. Its most striking feature is a small rocket launcher pod, likely carrying four rounds, intended for rapid suppression rather than sustained fire. This gives infantry an immediate shock option against light cover, trenches, or suspected firing points, allowing squads to maneuver while the enemy is pinned down. The system is also tied to a sensor-driven approach to navigation and targeting, reflecting broader PLA efforts to operate effectively under heavy electronic warfare and degraded GPS conditions. This focus on sensing and autonomy suggests the robot is meant to remain useful even in highly contested environments. The ZRY-222 first gained public attention during a major military parade in Beijing, where it appeared as part of a larger unmanned land combat formation. That display sent a clear doctrinal message. Unmanned systems are intended to support complex missions like urban warfare and amphibious operations, where casualty sensitivity and restricted maneuver space make robotic scouts and fire support especially valuable. The recent training footage suggests this is no longer just a concept. Units now appear to be practicing the control drills, coordination, and routines needed to make manned-unmanned teaming work at squad and platoon level. That shift from symbolism to normalization is what makes the footage important. Tactically, a rocket-armed UGV can move first into exposed lanes, draw enemy fire, and help identify threats while keeping soldiers safer. However, its effectiveness depends on reliable communications, disciplined fire control, and resistance to jamming. Past experiences with similar systems elsewhere have shown that weak control links can quickly undermine the promised advantages of robotic warfare. What stands out is not just the platform, but the concept behind it. By pushing expendable unmanned vehicles forward and distributing firepower downward, the PLA is preparing for high-friction battlefields filled with drones, sensors, and electronic attack. For militaries watching these developments, the message is clear. China is training for wars where machines take the first risk and soldiers exploit the opening. This is the kind of battlefield evolution we closely follow here on Mighty Military.